Ooh, it's a shiny toy. I like my Zeonizer. Oh, hang on. Give me one second. Give me one second. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here, and I'm back with another review. And today, I'll be reviewing the Power Ranger Zeo Zeonizer from the Legacy Collection. So before anything, we'll take a look at the packaging, as always. So right here is the Legacy Zeonizer. So you have 25 years of Power Rangers with the sticker. You have Saban's Power Rangers right there in silver. You have the Zeonizer right up front with the logo right here. You have Zeo down here. Legacy Zeonizer, Le Legacy Zeo Zeonizer from the Legacy Collection. This is 15 years and over, and yes, it is made by Bandai. On the side of the packaging, you have Power Ranger Zeo, Z Zeo Zeonizer Legacy Collection. On the other side, same thing. On the bottom, you get Saban Brands, Made in China, etc., etc., etc. On the top, you get Power Rangers, and on the back, you get your obligatory product shot, as well as a picture of Tommy right here or Goro Hoshino, if you, depends if you like Super Sentai or American. And over here, you have the story. Created by Zordon of Eltar, the Zeonizers utilize the power of the legendary Zeo crystals to connect the morph to the Morphin Grid and morph five heroes into the Power Rangers, Zeo. These wrist-mounted devices use an interlocking feature that has also helped pilot the Zeo Zords. Go, go, Power Rangers. So down here you have motion, so you have whatever this thing does. This thing has motion response, move this over here. It's motion response, premium die cast parts. So you got air slash sound effects, which I will show that off. Uh, lights and sounds effects for all five rangers, and I will show that off as well. Right there, so you have red, pink, yellow, blue, and green. So that's cool. And there's a picture of Tommy as well. There you go. Or ho, Goro, regardless. Okay. Again, if you watch Super Sentai, you know who Goro Hoshino is. Move this over here. Okay. So here are the... Whoop. So here are the Zeonizers right here. This is the Zeonizer. And uh, they look pretty cool. We'll take a look at these individually right here. Uh, we'll move over here and we'll talk about this one first. This is where the, every, the, all, all the lights and sounds and uh, stuff are. This one does nothing whatsoever. This is where the battery and all the sounds are. Uh, if I get a copyright strike, uh, I apologize, but uh, hopefully I won't get a copyright strike. So, um, because this actually has, the, this plays the Zeo theme song. Uh, so to turn this on, what you want to do is there is a little uh, on-off switch right here, which the uh, strap, let's take a look at the strap first right here. That's really cool. So it's got the logo for all five, all one, two, three, four, five Zeo Rangers right here with Tommy in the middle. So I think that's really cool. And it's got these, um, it's made in this really nice leather. Very cool. And this straps on through Velcro, so. Very secure. Now to turn this on, again, like I mentioned, there's a little switch here uh, next to the battery compartment, which the strap blocks. And to turn this on, you get that sound and that little light comes on. And another thing is this is motion censored. So anything you do, the light will uh, go on, will turn on, and you'll hear a bunch of sound effects. Punching, and a miss, a punch, and a miss. <laughs> um, this is uh, completely motion censored, and what it will do is just read it while it's moving, it'll make that noise. So let's, get, let's turn this off and let's look at this. Well, I'm making a bunch of noise. 
Um, so this is plastic. All this is plastic, and this uh, this right here, this is die cast, die cast, die cast. But everything else is plastic, including this little red see-through button here. So yeah, this is plastic, plastic. Um, everything's plastic except this is die cast, die cast, and die cast. Or I think this is die cast, that this is die cast, and this is plastic. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's got die cast and plastic. Um, same thing with this one. If I turn this on, well, this, this doesn't turn on, but this has a spring. And this right here is die cast. Right there, this is die cast. So that's cool. And uh, before we'll get into the before we get into this, let's get into this because this is where all the lights and sounds come from. This is this. There's nothing in here. So we'll look at this first, and then we'll get onto the good stuff later. So this here, this is a spring-loaded gimmick, where this red button here uh, um, opens this, but at the same time, this red button is supposed to touch this red button. And when you activate it, this springs up. And what this is, is uh, this is where the, the, the light, this is um, kind of like a, a see-through kind of plasticky thing. This is where the light emanates. Uh, so like th the light goes through here and comes out through here so that you actually can see the, uh, the light through here as you activate it. Like Zeo Ranger 1, pink, Zeo Ranger 2, red, depends on the Zeo, you have, Zeo Ranger you are. So if you press this button, this will come off. There you go. And uh, this is what it looks like. This is basically it. This is all you get uh, that's important for this part here. Without this, you won't be able to see the light through this. So th that's the only purpose this serves. But other than that, really no, this doesn't serve any other purpose. There you go. Okay. Now we'll get into this. This is where the good stuff happens. Move this to the side. Here. So to turn this on, you flip this switch here. I don't know if you can see the switch. There. Turn it off and turn it on. And you'll get that sound. And uh, this is motion censored, so... Anything you do, you'll get sound effects punching. Now, the, this entire thing is controlled by this little dial here. Now, the more you turn the dial, you'll get sounds for all five rangers uh, and the color as well. So, if you press this button, Zero Ranger five, red. you'll get Tommy. Hopefully, I don't get a copyright strike because this plays this plays a theme song. So, uh, the Zeo theme song. I'm not gonna play it. I'll just cut it. If I, if I happen to play it by accident, I'll cut it off. You'll just take my word for it. So this, you get Tommy. It's morphin' time! That will actually be uh, white once it says it. And when it's morphin' time, you turn it on. And there you go. Let me cut it off. There you go. So. There you go. So when you say it's morphin' time, you turn it on and it says the Zeo theme. But if you turn the dial, pink. pink. And if you want to morph into pink, you press it again. Zero into one, pink. And there you go, you've morphed into pink. Now, another cool thing is while this is, while pink is selected, whatever you do, you'll see pink. Okay? 
Again, see, you'll see pink. But if you change it, yellow. whatever you do, you'll be yellow. And the sound effects for morphing, yeah, and the sound effects for morphing are different for every ranger. They're unique to every ranger. So if you press here, you get yellow. So that's really cool. Blue. There you go. There's Rocky. Zero Ranger three. Blue. And you could close this while this is morphing. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, interrupt the sounds or anything. So it doesn't interrupt the sounds. Green. And there you go. You have green, which is Adam. And uh, yeah, so, Blue. so let's go back to the Tommy. Uh, let me turn this off. So that's basically it. That's all the sounds you get out of this. There's not much uh, to this. And, um, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, if you if you turn this on, if you turn this on, so that what that does is, let me turn this off, <laughs> while uh, it's saying Zero Ranger 5 or Zero Ranger two or zero ranger one whatever you can restart it by hitting this button this little button right here so it won't shut it off but it'll just restart everything uh it'll restart the whole the whole sequence so yeah that's pretty much it that's all there is to this uh this morpher here not a big um not big on you know, uh, there's a lot of sounds in here, but most of them are just the Rangers roll call, the Zio theme song. I am not good at singing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the th the Zio theme song, the individual Ranger co uh, roll calls, as well as the sound effects for. The, the 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 morphers like the the morphing sequence now for whatever reason for whatever reason i do not know why but uh, they decided to this button here is very simple to press that's fine however this button is a little tougher to press because if I press with the same force as this one, nothing happens. However, if I press harder, that springs up. I don't know why they decided to do that. Um, I'm assuming because, I don't know, I guess this is a more robust part this is the more robust part and this is the part that kids will probably play with the most but it still doesn't make sense to me because um if let's say you're gonna morph and you do you you actually go it's, it's morphing time and you you kind of like do this or however they morph or something um watch see just slightly tapping it it'll activate it when this when it's supposed to look like this but for whatever reason if you do it correctly this should spring down and you'll get you know the the the, the morphing thing but i don't know why but they decided to make this button harder to press than this one it's supposed to look like this something like that but, uh, yeah, I used more force with this thumb than with this thumb because of the button. I don't know what it is, but that's what they did. Um, another thing is the strap. Um, this strap isn't really the best quality leather. It's really good leather, but it's not the best quality. Um, because... 
I mean, it just doesn't really feel good to me. It, 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 it just really doesn't work for me. I mean, th this toy would be a lot better and like it would feel much, much uh, higher quality to me if it wasn't for this strap. However, one cool thing about this is you can remove the strap if you don't like it and make up and put your own strap in there and, you know, uh, keep it secure and very nice. But uh, I don't know, th this strap, this, this strap really isn't for me. Like, it, I don't know, I, I don't like the strap. But other than that, it's a great toy. It's a great toy to role play with. It's a great toy to play with. And uh, if you're a collector, I definitely recommend it for sure. Uh, if you're collecting morphers, like I am, uh, it, I, I recommend this for sure. This is a really fun toy, and I could see kids playing with this for hours and hours and hours. Um, but yeah, this right here, and as you've already noticed, this is the Legacy Collection. Because uh, one thing that distinguishes the Legacy Collection from the Lightning is the Legacy is more shiny and more, um, you know, brightly colored die cast whereas the uh the lightning is more plasticky feel i guess i don't know uh let me show you the comparison i will bring in my legacy morpher right here look at the size of this and look at the size of one of these it's not that big compared to the legacy uh morpher itself the the See, look at this one. So each of these is like not that big. I mean, granted, it's for you to wear on your wrist. But it's not bad. It's not a bad toy. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. Abso positively. This is a really fun toy. And uh, I've spent hours trying to learn the technique to, you know, Go put together and uh, open that at the same time with your wrists. It definitely requires technique. It's it's, it's harder than it looks. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good toy. And I highly recommend it for any... Um, excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I highly recommend it for any Power Rangers fan uh, looking to get their morphers and uh, looking to get their... Uh, a, a, like you know grow their morpher collection this is a must own morpher if you're trying to collect every morpher great toy and amazingly good um collector's item also this could double as a prop so that's cool so there you go um where to get this well i guess you can probably get them at big bad toy store uh, if if I can, I'll link uh, I'll link where you can get them in the description below, and uh, hmm, go ahead get them. But uh, they do cost a pretty penny. They are kind of uh, they don't cost that much, but they don't cost that cheap either. So they're not that cheap either. So keep in mind when shopping around for one of these. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else to talk about. I went over the sound effects and the each Ranger roll call and the lights as well. So there is my review of the Power Rangers Zeo Zeonizer Legacy Collection Zeonizer, actually. And this came Vita saying, laters.